So hello everyone, welcome to Tesla Technologies Private Limited. My name is Sora Mishra and today in this video we are going to discuss about this Arduino Uno IoT development board. Its order code is 52072G. So in this video we are going to discuss about its working, its components and its application. So firstly we will start with discussing the components of this Arduino Uno IoT development board. So starting from this. You can see a power supply for uh, switching on and off is provided with the three different kinds of supply that is plus 12, plus 5 and plus 3.3 .3 volts and uh, so points ports have been given for the ground. Moving on to the next you can see that there is a 5 volt DC motor okay, in which IC L293 d has been used with the different ports of supply, ground and 4 input ports. Next, we are provided with the stepper motor. Okay. After this, you can see there is a gas sensor in which uh, it is having a code of MQ135. You can refer to the manual so that uh, you can get the deep knowledge that which gas it can detect. Next, it is given the two axis servo motor with plus 5 volt and two input port. Next, we are having the seven segment display and provided with the ports. After that, you can see we are provided with the ultrasonic sensor of ground. Okay, then uh, triggering plus 5 volt for the distance calculation. Next, we are there with the Bluetooth module to which we can connect any device with this Arduino board. Next, we are having the two buzzers that is active and passive. Here, you can see this is the microphone. Next, this is LDR sensor with the plus 5 volt and input port. Moving on to the next, you are provided with the nano breadboard for extra uh, experimental performances. Then we are with the RGB matrix that is 5 by 5 with 5 volt port, uh, input port and ground port. Then we are here with the dot matrix display 8 by 8 with all the ports that is 5 volt. Input, uh, input port, ground port, then cycle and then clock. Then we are uh, here with the port 1 and port 2 that is slide potentiometer for the vertical and horizontal. Here we are with the display 16 cross 2 I2C. Here you can see we are having 16 keypad matrix okay, in which uh, it is of 4 by 4 for uh, extra inputs. This is the humidity and temperature sensor with plus 5 volt data uh, port and ground port. This is Wi-Fi module for the connectivity with this Arduino Uno port. Then you can see this is the DIP switches. A 1 watt LED has been provided in the board, board itself. LED bar with 10 ports have been provided. Then RGB ports, or parallel RGB ports with 4 LEDs has been provided. After that you can see there is an accelerometer in which all the ports for the uh, plus 5 volts, ground port is all been provided. This is the main Arduino Uno board kit for uh, different uh, analog and digital pins, ground pins, plus 5 volt etc. This is you can see this is a joystick for controlling different experimental performances. Now this is the relay module. And at last, this is an IR sensor for detecting the obstacles. So this is the complete exp uh, explanation of the components of this kit. Now we will start with the on-hand uh, experimental performance one by one. So firstly, we can check the objective one to develop Arduino program for blinking of LED. So the circuit diagram of this development board you can check into the procedure that how we have to connect the Arduino Uno with this with the system okay so you can follow up the procedure after this you have to copy this code and open this Arduino IDE software and just paste this code over here and then just verify it the compiling is done and after this, you have to just upload it to the Arduino board. 
so you can see compiling done uploading uploading is done now you can check the result on the arduino board so now since we have uploaded the code uh, of the blinking of led so according to the manual we just have to do the connection the code has been uploaded in this arduino board so just connect d13 with this led bar any of that like check for the like 3 one third one so you can see uh, the led of third place in this led bar is blinking so you can check that the code which we have uploaded is working correctly so now we will do the second uh, testing of the component that is the one watt led so you can check in the manual that the procedure for the connection of one watt led is being given you can follow up this procedure the connection diagram is also provided for your help so now you have to again do the same procedure of just copy this code provided in your manual and just paste it over here okay and after this you can directly upload the code because it will compile first and then upload it to the board so now you can check the results on the development board so now since we have connected uh, we have uploaded the code in the arduino Uno board so we will check for the one watt led so according to the manual we just have to connect the d9 pin with the one watt led so connect this digital line pin of arduino board with this one watt led so you can see the one watt led is working it's just getting fading then afterward it it just lighten up so the code for the one watt led is working properly perform for this to develop arduino program for controlling led brightness with the potentiometer now we will control the brightness of led with the potentiometer on this development board so you can see this is the led bar which is on the development board and there are two potentiometers which are provided on the development board with the name pot1 and pot2 so moving ahead you can see the procedure of the connection is being provided so you can directly follow these connections of potentiometer led bar and arduino okay you can refer to the manual also you can take the help of this connection diagram for your help now again we have to check the same procedure you have to just copy this code that's been provided okay remove the previous code just paste it just copy it again the remaining code and just paste it over here now you can directly upload this code it will first compile and then afterwards it will upload so now you can check the results on your development board so now since we have uploaded the code for the led bar you just have to follow up the procedure for the connection diagram okay so you can check the connection diagram which is given in the procedure okay so just we can quickly connect the uh, all connections of led bar with the arduino board so according to the procedure you have to connect the pin 1 with the d2 port pin 1 of led bar with the d2 port okay similarly you have to connect all the pins which is given in the procedure so let me connect it all so supposedly i have connected uh, for the five pins okay you can connect more pins in the led bar now you have to take the potentiometer anyone like uh, you can take the this potentiometer 2 or the one supposedly i am taking the pot1 that is potentiometer 1 so let's have the connection by the manual 
so you can check i have connected the potentiometer pin 1 with the 5 volt second pin with the a not pin that is d14 and the third pin with the ground pin so now you, you can use this potentiometer 1 slider okay to check that the led bar is working or not so you can see on decreasing it it is working properly on increasing the led bar is increasing you can also use the uh, rest of the ports for the connections okay so now we will go for the next practical of to control active and passive buzzers using dip switches so you can check about the theory part in your manual you can refer manual for the help you can see this is the dip switch provided on the development board and then the procedure has been given for the connections so you can follow these you can follow this procedure also you can take help of this connection diagram and again we have to do the same we have to just copy out this given code and just paste it in the Arduino IDE also the remaining code we have to paste it copy it and just paste it okay so the code has been on the Arduino ID okay you must check that uh, your port and the board of Arduino Uno should be selected then just upload this you can see uploading is being done now you can check the results in the development board now we have to perform for the DIP switches ok for the active buzzer and passive buzzer so I have just uploaded the code so let's start the connection so you have to connect the DIP switch pin 1 to the Arduino pin 2 D2 so pin 1 with the Arduino pin D2 pin 2 of DIP switch with D3 pin 2 of DIP switch with D3 ok and connect and next you have to connect active buzzer to Arduino pin D8 this D8 the active buzzer ground is being provided already and next you have to connect the passive buzzer with pin D9 so this is all the connection about the active buzzer and the passive buzzer ok so now you just have to give the this kit the main power supply ok so just connect this main supply to this Arduino development board and just switch on so you will hear the sound of the active buzzers and the passive buzzers just switch it on So after switching on it, you can see, you can listen to the sound of the active buzzer and passive buzzer. It will take a few seconds. So for this, you have to just switch uh, on this DIP switches connections. You can hear the voice. In the second one you can see okay so with the time duration and delay which we have done in the code it is working properly now we will have to discuss about the next practical that is about to develop Arduino program for controlling parallel RGB LEDs so you can check these are the theory given the RGB LED diagram you can refer to the procedure you can follow the procedure accordingly you can have the connections on the development board you can also check out this connection diagram of the development board now this you have to copy it this code 
you have to copy this given code in your manual and just paste it over here also the remaining one so just similarly copy this code and just paste it over here after this you have to upload this code you can see the compiling is being done and the uploading is also being done now you can check the results on the development board so now we will see the code uh, now we will see the performance of the RGB LED okay so let's start the connection of the RGB LED let's start the connection of uh, this parallel RGB LED so you can follow up the procedure given in the manual so firstly you have to connect the RGB red light okay with the D9 pin of the Arduino board so just connect okay then you have to connect the green light with the D10 green light R G with the D10 similarly you have to complete the connections given in the manual so let me complete it so on switching it on you can see the various connections the LED is blinking according to the code uploaded okay so this is the RGB in the sequence it's green light right now so you can see after resetting it it is following the pattern given in the code okay if you face any problem then you just have to reset the Arduino board so means the code is working properly so now we will start with the next that is to develop Arduino program for controlling a 5 cross 5 LED matrix with rainbow colors so you can check a figure is being given a 5 cross 5 RGB matrix as similar on your development board nextly you can see we are having a procedure for your pin connections you can take help of it also you can refer to this connection diagram okay for the pins connection at last you have to just copy down this code complete entire code okay and just paste it in the Arduino IDE software and just just upload it you can see that there is an error so we have to download the file for this fast LED okay so you can go to this library section and just paste it you can check so you have to just install this library that is fast LED by Daniel Gracia so it's installing it's in process okay so the file is successfully installed now you can re-upload it so compilation so again we have to re-upload it it's in process so the compilation is done and it's also uploaded you can check it on the development board for the connections so now we are going to perform the function for this 5 cross 5 RGB matrix so there is a simple connection so you have to just do I have uploaded the code now you have to connect the pin ok with the pin it's internally changed ok so you have to connect the data pin to the D6 and the 5 volt pin to the 5 volt power supply and then just you have to 
switch on the power supply. So you can see a pattern written in the code is following. Okay, you can check this. So it means our code is working very properly. So now we will go for the next code. So now we will look for the uh, next component that is develop Arduino program for controlling four digit seven segment display. So you can see this is the digital seven segment display. Okay. And uh, on the development board, you can follow up this procedure for the pin connections. You can refer to the manual. Here is the connection diagram. You can take help of this connection diagram for the connections. And at last, again you are having this code. So you have to just copy this code. Okay. I have to just copy this code. Check that your device should be Arduino Uno. Okay. And just paste over the code over here. Okay. You must check the connections of it of with the Arduino board. And then upload it. You can see compiling is being done and uploading is also done. You can check this on the Arduino board that whether it is working or not. So now we will do the practical about the seven segment. So I have uploaded the code as already shown. Now we have to do the connections given in the procedure given in the manual. So, you just have to follow the procedure given in the manual. So, let me complete this connections first. So, this is the this is our seven segment display. Okay. So, now we have to connect this these connections with this Arduino board. So, after making all connections, you can see the the code which is uploaded. The connection. Uh, is proper so there is a display of seven segment on the LED okay so this is about the seven segment LED display so this is the performance of seven segment LED display now let's let's move to the next experiment uh, uh, another component so now we will uh, talk about the next objective that is to develop Arduino program for displaying an emoji on an 8x8 LED matrix. So you can have a look over this figure of 8x8 dot LED matrix display. Next you can see that the, there is a procedure given in this manual for your help. You can have a pin connections on this development board with the help of this procedure. Also you can refer for this connection diagram. Next. You have to just copy down this code, okay, and just paste it in the Arduino ID. It will take a few seconds. So, in this, you have to paste this code which you have copied down. Just paste it and then click on upload. You can see there is a error. So to resolve this problem, you have to just click on this library section and give it the name for which you are finding your library that is LED control. So we are taking this library, you have to choose which library will work in your Arduino ID, just install it. You have to install LED control by Eberhard. Okay. 
so now just upload it you can see compilation is done and after this uploading process is also done now click on this serial monitor also you can check on the kit for the results so now we will uh, do the experiment of 8 cross 8 dot led matrix display i have uploaded the code as before okay so now let perform it on the board so this is the 8 cross 8 matrix display so we have to connect this with the arduino board okay so according to the procedure given in the manual let's start the connection so the d in port should be gone with the d4 port so you have to connect the d in port with the d4 port and cs port with b6 cs port with d6 clock with d5 clock with d5 okay must check that the connection should be proper and at last the 5 volt supply okay the 5 volt supply this with the given 5 volt supply okay so the connection is done so now the switch on this power supply okay and then just reset it you can see a pattern of smiley made in this you can see the pattern of smiley appears on the head cross 8 dot matrix display so it means the code is working properly so let's start with the next so component. now next we have to go for the object 9 which we have taken to develop arduino program for displaying text on an i2c lcd so you can see the theory over here and a picture of 16 cross 2 lcd display with i2c module after this you can see the procedure of connection diagram of the uh, connections of the pins in the development board you can follow them or else you can refer for this connection diagram for your help now next you have to just copy out this code okay you have to copy out this code and just paste in arduino id and then you have to upload it so the code is compiling compilation has been done now it's uploading and you can see the code has been uploaded now you can check on your uno development board that whether it is working or not so next we have to do for the i2c led this 16 cross 2 so let's start the connection i have loaded the code so you have to refer to the manual and do the connections so connect this, this sda port with the a4 port okay this a4 port scl port with a5 port scl port with a5 port okay and at last the 5 fold 5 fold with this 5 fold in the power supply since the power supply is on you can see a led display okay it's been uploaded code has been uploaded so all the three connections should be in proper so it means the code is uploaded successfully so now next move on to the next component
So now next we have to uh, do the interfacing between this 4x4 keypad matrix with this I2C LED. So you can refer to the manual for the connections. The code has been uploaded already. So we have to just do the connections and give on the power supply. So let us let me uh, make all the connections. You can take the help of the manual provided. So firstly I have to connect the SDA with the A4 port. Connect SDA with the A4 port. Okay. SDA with the A4 port of Arduino board. Nextly you have to connect SCL to the A5 port. SCL to the A5 port. Next you have to connect 5 volt LCD with the supply. Okay. So connect this 5 volt with this power supply. And next you have to do the connections with the 4x4 four four. all these connections okay with the Arduino board so let's let me do the all connections so since I have made all the connections of this 4x4 four four keypad matrix with the Arduino board and the I2C LCD so you just have to now power switch on the power supply the switch on it you can see the display has been appeared and according to the code it will show the given context okay this year we can again reset it okay so it's showing the enter key the thing which we have mentioned in our code so these are the key matrices you can have a value like uh, in the mobile phone so we have set the values like it will show one two three four five six seven 8, 9, A, B, C, D, hash, 0, star. So means the code is working very properly. So now let's move on to the next component. So now we will move for the next part that is to develop our uh, Arduino program for interfacing MPU6050 and detecting motion. So you can see the theory and uh, figure has been provided of MPU6050 module. Also you can see the procedure has been provided in, the, in this manual. You can take the help of this procedure for the pin connections on the development board. You can also refer to the connection diagram for your help. After that you just have to copy this code. Okay. You have to copy this complete code and just you have to paste it in the Arduino IDE okay and then directly just upload it you can see compilation process it's done and then afterwards it will upload okay now just click on the serial monitor for the output you can see the motion has been detected on changing the direction you can see changing the direction of the development board the different directions it is showing right left forward downward etc so now we have to uh, go for the mpu6050 this accelerometer okay so let's start the connections okay so firstly you have to connect sda with the a4 port then scl scl with the a5 port okay at last the 5 volt supply with the power supply 5 volt with the 5 volt power supply okay the code has been uploaded you just have to switch on the power supply you can see a green light is there on the accelerometer that is MPU6050. So in the software you can see after uploading this uh, it can sense the position okay it can sense the position whether the board is in the forward the backward the right direction or left direction you can see in the code I have shown okay. So on changing the direction in front of this, it will start showing the direction. 
that in which direction it is moving like forward downward right left upward okay so this is the this so this code is working properly okay so now next move to the next component so now we will deal with the next objective that is to develop arduino program for interfacing i sensors and controlling led bar so you can see a three channel ir sensor figure is been provided on the manual after that you can see the procedure is been provided for your help in the pin connection diagram on the development board so you can have uh, you can uh, do your pin connections by following this next you can also refer to the connection diagram at last you have to just copy down the code okay copy down the code and next you have to paste it in the arduino id software okay and then just have to upload it so it's in compilation process compilation is done now it's uploading and uploading is also done so you can check the result on your development board so now since we are dealing with the three channel ir sensor this one let's start the connection from the manual so in the procedure the connection has been provided so just follow up these connections okay so let me do the connection first then we will check the that the uh, code is uploaded is working or not so since all connection is done power supply is on you can see the led bar is blinking okay so now this is the ir three channel ir sensor so the sensor has been fitted in, in this board 1 2 3 so just check it out that whether it is working or not so on moving the direction you can see the led is blinking like if i take it to the middle one it is showing different pattern if i will show it to the left one it will showing different pattern and right different if right and center right and left so it means the code is working properly next let, let's move to the next component so now we will work on the next objective that is to develop our arduino program for interfacing DHT sensor and displaying temperature and humidity on LCD. So you can check this is the construction diagram of DHT 11. After this, this is the uh, VI characteristics that is about uh, like characteristic graph of resistance and temperature and resistance and temperature relation in DHT 11. After this, you can see that uh, procedure has been provided in the manual. So you can have a pin diagram, uh, the connections of development board. With the help of this, also you can refer to the Arduino Uno uh, IoT development board this uh, connection diagram. At last, you have to just copy down the code. Okay, you have to copy down the code from your manual and just paste it in the Arduino ID software and then just click on the upload button. So it's in compilation process. The compilation is done, and after this, it will start uploading. So uploading process is also done. So you can check the results on the development board. Now next, we are going to deal with the, uh, this DHT sensor with the display of humidity and temperature on the LCD. Okay, so let's start the connection. For this, the code is been already uploaded on the kit. So now let us start the connection. So you can take the reference of the manual. So connect DHT pin data to Arduino Uno pin D2. Okay. So so connect this data pin with the D2 pin of the Arduino board. Then connect the power pin to 5 volt okay ground is internally connected okay connect to the 5 volt after that connect i2c i2c lcd display pin sda pin sda 
with the A4 pin SDA with the A4 pin SCL with A5 ok and at last connect 5 volt with the supply ok so now just have to switch on the power supply ok just switch on this power supply and you can see the display will appear on this LCD so you can see you can reset this ok and you can see the temperature is 28 degrees celsius and humidity is 76 ok so this means the code is working on development board very properly let us start with the next component so now we will work upon the next objective that is to develop arduino program for interfacing smoke sensor and activating alarm system means with the connection with buzzer so you can see a connection diagram is being provided for your help and a procedure you can take help of the procedure for the pin connections on the development board nextly you can have a look over this connection diagram for the smoke sensor at last you have to just copy down the code copy down the code from your manual and just paste it in the arduino id software and then just click on upload so compilation is done and uploading is also done so now we can check the results on the development board so since we have uploaded the code of the smoke sensor uh, with the interfacing interfacing it with the alarm system so starting with the connections given in the procedure on the manual so let's start the connection for this okay so you have to connect the uh, a0 port of the sensor with the arduino pin a0 okay so this is the smoke sensor okay so you have to connect a0 of this port with the arduino a0 port okay nextly we have to connect the vcc to the 5 volt we have to connect this to the 5 volt we can provide it ground is internally connected already then we have to connect the 1 watt led to the digital pin 3 d3 okay so this is the d3 port okay and we have to connect it with the 1 watt led okay nextly we have to connect the positive terminal of active buzzer to a digital pin d3 active buzzer positive terminal with the digital pin d5 okay this is d5 so now we have to just our code is already uploaded we have to just switch on the power supply okay so you can see the gas sensor or the smoke sensor is get gets on and since i have made the smoke in the environment so it is detecting that smoke and buzzing that the buzzer is in the on state and it is alerting us that there is nearby some smoke ok so i have removed the smoke and it stopped buzzing so let me show you more clearly ok so you can see i have put this here just reset it ok and I have put the incense stick in front of this ok so on I have set its value to the 20 so on getting it to the 20 value it will just start buzzing you can see one more LED is blinking and on removing it ok so it's like this you can see it's working properly after removing it it is not buzzing and after this it is buzzing so you can change the intensity of this so now let's move to the next component 
so now next we have to do with the next objective that is uh, to develop Arduino program for the interfacing ultrasonic sensor and displaying distance on LCD so you can see this is a uh, quite a small representation of how ultrasonic sound works and this is a mere example of uh, distance calculation also you can have an eye on the procedure through which you can take help for the pin connections on development board after this you can also refer to this connection diagram and at last you just have to copy out down this code from your manual okay and then go to the Arduino IDE software and just paste that code over here okay just have to take out this code and paste here and after this you just have to click on upload so you can see compilation has been done and now it's uploading so the software we can check the results on the development board so now let's start the next uh, component so we have uploaded the code for the interfacing of ultrasonic sensor and displaying distance on the LCD so we have to uh, interface this ultrasonic with this LCD so you can refer to the manual the procedure is being given in the manual so let's start the connection so an ultrasonic sensor okay this is the ultrasonic sensor in this you can check for the circuits so the trigger should be trigger port should be connected to the d2 pin port okay then echo port should be connected to the d3 d3 port okay and vcc should be connected with the 5 volt that 5 volt this 5 volt next you have to do is the connection of i to c lcd so connect sda with the pin a4 connect sda with the pin a4 scl with pin a5 okay pin a5 and vcc to the 5 volt so connect vcc to 5 volt okay so connection is made uh, now you have to switch on the power supply the power supply is switched on okay so now okay so connection has been made so you can see on switching on it's uh, the lcd is switched on okay so on measuring the distance okay just reset it so you can see on switching on this power supply okay we can measure the distance you can see a distance is showing either it is detecting the object in front of it okay just see if i am taking this so it is denoting 3 cm 6 cm increasing it is increasing the distance okay and on decreasing it is decreasing the distance so you can see the change in so the code is working properly for the ultrasonic so now let's move on to the next component so now we will start with the next object that is to develop Arduino program for interfacing LDR and controlling LED so you can have a look that there is a figure of LDR sensor the procedure for LDR sensor spin connection is being provided you can take help and you can have an overlook of, of this connection diagram for the LDR sensor nextly I have to just copy it down this code and just paste it in the Arduino ID software okay so just paste it and click on upload compilation is done and uh, now it starts uploading and upload is also done so you can have look on development board for the output so now we will do for the next component that is LDR sensor okay so we have uploaded the code okay so let's start the connection you can take the reference of the manual so you have to connect this 5 volt of LDR okay 
this five fold of LDR to the supply five fold. Okay. Or you can take the supply from this power supply also. Or also you have to take the LDR another point that is input point to the A zero pin. Okay. And now connect the one watt LED to the D thirteen pin. This is the one watt LED. So connect one watt LED to the D thirteen pin. Okay. So you can see that uh, right now the one watt LED is not blinking because it is sensing the the LED is sensing the light in the room. So after switching off the lights, let's see what one watt LED. Will show us. So you can see a red light is being shown there by the one watt LED. So on switching on it, you can see light get off. Again, switching off the light, it will get on. So this is how the LDR works. So it means our code is working properly. Okay, this is about the LDR sensor. Now move to the next component. So now we will uh, move for the next object that is to develop Arduino program for interfacing KY038 sound sensor module and controlling LED. So you can see that a sound sensor figure is being provided in the manual. With uh, showing which is showing the different components in it. Nextly, we are having with the procedure by which you uh, by following which you can uh, do the connections on the development board. Also, you can check for the connection diagram for the reference. At last, you just have to copy out this code. And nextly, you have to just paste it in the Arduino ID software and then just click on upload so you can see the compiling is done and the upload is also done so now we will check the results on the development board whether it is working or not so now let's start with the connection for the sound sensor okay so we have uploaded the code already now let's start with the connection pin connections in the development board so first of all connect vcc to plus 5 volt and the ground is internally connected you can take the help of the re reference so you have to this is the microphone the sound sensor so you have to connect the vcc the 5 volt to the vcc okay you can either connect to this okay you can see a red light is there blinking and afterwards you have to connect the d0 pin with the d2 pin so this d0 pin you have to connect with the d2 pin okay next you have to connect the one watt led with the d13 pin so this is the one watt led so connect this with the d13 pin okay so since you can see that after connecting the supply if this microphone will sense the sound nearby me, it will blink uh, red. It will blink the red light on the microphone. So just connect it to the main supply. You can see, you can see it over here that you can see a red light. Okay. So I have connected this. So you can see a red light over here. Okay. So it means it is sensing the sound nearby. Okay. So it means the code is working properly. So moving on to the next component. So now we will go for the next objective that is to develop Arduino program for controlling two DC motors using L293 D motor driver. So here you can see the figure of H bridge DC motor driver is in front of you and a procedure for the pin connections you can uh, refer to this procedure you can follow this procedure for the pin connection on development board after this you can refer to this connection diagram for your help and at last a code is being provided so you just have to
copy out this code okay copy this code from your manual and write this code in the software just paste it over here and then click on upload so the compilation process is done and after that the uploading process is also done okay so you can see the results the beep sound is there okay so now we will uh, do for the next component that is the 5 volt DC motor the two DC motors uh, operating by the IC L293 L293D okay so let's start with the connection uh, with the reference of the manual okay so first of all connect uh, in one of LED this okay input one with the digital pin to D2 after that into like input 2 with D3 ok next we have to connect input 3 with pin D4 input 3 with pin D4 and at last we have to connect input 4 with the pin D5 ok so connect it so it's been connected with D5 you must check that the connection should be proper and lastly connect the 5 volt power supply with this 5 volt power supply ok so it's completed ok uh, code is already up uploaded so just switch on the power supply now ok so you can see that the motor is running in a pattern given in the code you can check it means the code is running properly in the development board so now let's start with the connection of the next component so now we will deal with the next objective that is to develop Arduino program for controlling a step uh, like a stepper revolution uh, motor using the stepper library ok so here is the stepper motor with the driver in this figure after that you can see the procedure for the pin diagram on the development board also you can refer to the connection diagram of this and at last you just have to copy out the code given in the manual copy out the co entire code then open your Arduino IDE software and just paste the code over here and click on upload button so the compilation is in process compilation is done and next it's uploading and the so uh, the program has been uploaded so we can check the results in the development board so since we have already uploaded the code for the stepper motor with the driver so now we have to go for the connections so you can take the help of the manual ok so this is the stepper motor and this is the Arduino board so you have to just connect the input port 1 ok with the D8 pin of Arduino board then you have to connect input 2 with D10 input 2 with the D10 ok next you have to connect input 3 with the D9 input 3 with the D9 port D9 is the digital port 9 of the Arduino and input 4 input 4 with the D11 so here we have done the connections and at last we have to connect the 5 volt power supply with the main supply ok or you can get it the through the VCC also we will do it with the main supply ok so after switching on the power supply since we have already uploaded the code so just switch on this and you can see then that this uh, stepper motor will start rotating so you can see stepper motor starts rotating 
at a different different delay pauses you can see the stepper motor start rotating it means the code is working perfectly in the development mode so let's start with the next component next we have to do is the object 20 that is to control two axis servo motors using a joystick so you can see our two axis servo motor okay and this figure and a joystick module you can follow up the procedure for the pin diagram connection in the development mode next you have you can refer or you can also refer to this connection diagram of this servo motor at last you just have to copy down this code you just have to come copy down this entire code okay and just paste it in the arduino ide software just paste it and click on upload button the program is being compiled it's done and nextly it will get upload so upload is also done you can check the results in the development board let me show you nextly we have to deal with the servo motor okay the servo motor so for a few instance we should remove the gas sensor for the perfect movement of the servo motor as we have already uploaded the code we now we have to just pin, out, uh, pin the circuits of, uh, on the development board with the help of the procedure given in the manual so let's start the connection okay so firstly we have to connect the input one pin with the d3 pin okay then we have to connect the input 2 pin with d10 input 2 with the d10 pin okay next we have to connect this vrx of joystick with the a3 pin and vry vry with the a4 pin check the proper connection and at last we have to get the supply to both the servo motor and for the joystick so connect 5 volt with this main supply and also connect the 5 volt of servo motor with this main supply ok so now let's start the power supply and since the code is already uploaded so we have to just switch on this power supply you can resolve this tangled wires for the for seeing the proper movement of the servo motor so let's start it okay so you can control by this joystick okay it is working perfectly according to the code okay like right left up down so you can work on this so the code is working perfectly for the servo motor interfacing with the joystick ok so now let, let us start with the next component so now next objective which we are going to drill is to develop Arduino program for remote controlled LED using Bluetooth module and remote remote oxy platform ok so you can see the theory has been provided about the product about the component then a figure of Bluetooth module with its uh, component pins explanation that which pins denote uh, what then we are provided with the procedure in this manual you can follow this procedure for the pin connections ok in the um, development board next also you can refer this connection diagram for the development board and at last you just have to copy down this code which is provided in the manual ok you have to copy down this code and then just open the arduino id soft app application ok and then it will just take a few seconds
so you have to just copy that code from the manual and just paste it in the Arduino IDE software just remove the previous one and just paste it over here the copy which you have copied the code which you have copied from the manual just paste it over here okay just copy it and paste it and then click on upload so it will first compile do compilation okay and then upload so you can check like this so next we have to deal with the component that is bluetooth module okay so we will deal with the bluetooth module okay so let's start with the connection since we have already uploaded the code in the development mode so let's start with the connection okay the bluetooth module pin okay this vcc vcc of bluetooth module to the plus 5 volt power supply okay 5 volt next you have to connect ground ground is uh, connected okay internally next you have to do is transmission with d2 so this tx the transmission port of bluetooth with the d2 port of arduino board and re receive port of the bluetooth receiver port of the bluetooth with the d3 port okay the d3 port next you have to connect the led bar connect led 1 to d4 led 1 to d4 to d4 next led 2 to d5 led 2 to d5 LED 3 to D6 Okay LED 3 to the D6 Next LED 4 to D7 LED 4 to D7 Okay And lastly LED 5 with the D8 D8 port with the LED 5 Okay, so the connections has been done. So now let's switch on the supply, and you can see after that an LED light will blink in this Bluetooth module for the connectivity show. So let's switch on this. Okay, so you can see a light is blinking in the Bluetooth module. So it is it, it means that the connection is proper and the code is running in the right way. So now let's start with the uh, connection of the next component dealing with the software and the also you can check that this connection of bluetooth module with an app that is remote xy you can install it from the google play store ok and after this you can check the all mobile interf uh, interfacing in the in that application even in the manual itself Okay, you have to just follow up the steps and you can check the connectivity of this Bluetooth module named HC05. Okay, with that app. So now let's start with the new component. So nextly after switching it on uh, the Bluetooth, Bluetooth module, you just have to open this remote XY. Okay, remote XY application. You can download it in the Google Play of, uh, store. Okay, then click on this plus button. Always check that your Bluetooth and location should be on if you are dealing with the Bluetooth module. After this, you have to click on Bluetooth. Then click on this select 2.0. It will find out nearby Bluetooth devices. Our Bluetooth uh, device module name is HC05. So just click on this. It will check on the log table. Okay. So I have already connected this with the Bluetooth module. So since all these LED bars is connected with these buttons, so you can on 
by remote you can operate these leds let's take third led to be on the first second third fourth and fifth increasingly like second led of third led of first led of fourth led of fifth so you can remotely connect okay by this application so now let's move on to the next component that is wifi module actually we have to discuss about the other uh, next objective that is to develop arduino program for remote controlled relay using wifi module so in this you can see a figure of uh, wifi module is been provided in which it is explaining the different parts of wifi module then you can see a figure of relay which is fitted on the development board is provided in the manual you can follow up this procedure for the pin connections on the development board also you can refer to this connection diagram at last you just have to copy down the given code okay copy down this given code and paste it in the arduino ide software so just remove the previous code and just paste it down in the arduino ide software and then click on upload you can see compilation process is started so compilation is done after that it will upload so it's in process and you can see uploading has been done so now you can check by connecting the wifi module with your mobile phone so let's check it out now we have to deal with the next that is wifi module so the code has been already uploaded of the wifi module so we have to do the connections of this relay and this wifi module with the arduino board okay so let's start with the pin connections okay given in the manual procedure so let's start connect the esp01 wifi module pin bcc to 3.3 volt power supply okay so this is the wifi module okay so we have to connect its bcc to the 3 volt power 3.3 volt power supply so let's connect it so connect this supply 3.3 volt power supply next we have to connect the ground is uh, internally connected next we have to connect the wifi module pin en to the 3.3 power supply okay connect this with this enable pin okay next we have to connect the relay so relay 1 to d4 so the relay 1 port to the d4 port of the arduino board and relay 2 with the d5 port of arduino board relay 2 with the d5 port of arduino board okay okay now we have to connect the relay vcc to the 5 volt power supply relay 5 volt with the vcc okay so you can see the relay is switched on okay now since the code is already uploaded we just have to switch on this main power supply just switch it on and the complete connection is done now we will check it on the software uh, that is uh, application that is that is remote xy so let's check it so now just uh, switch on this remote xy open this app remote xy okay in this you have to click on this plus button you must ensure that the, your wifi should be switched on so now click on the wifi point the screen will come and click on select wifi point it will detect as a remote xy you can search this is the remote xy just click on this it will ask for the password just write 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and click on connect it will check for the log table okay so there is uh, one more correction okay so you must ensure that you have to connect this 
Bluetooth module receiving and transmission point with the Arduino board. So just connect the transmission of ESP with the D0. Okay, that's why it is not accessing uh, that transmission of ESP with the receiver of Arduino that is D0 and receiver of ESP with the transmission of Arduino board that is D1 okay so now it's the connection is completed just reset it and again we will check for the software okay so again just open it we will check so this is the application you have to click on this plus you must ensure that your Wi-Fi is on click on Wi-Fi point select Wi-Fi point okay so now just upload the code okay upload the code again code has been uploaded okay so now the Wi-Fi port has been connected okay it has been connected because this was an error because we haven't connected a transmission and receiver point of the ESP Wi-Fi module so now you can change uh, control these relays with the help of remote control okay off off on on off on on off you can control it by this so this is the complete about the working of all the components on the development board okay so if you want to buy this its order code is 52072g so it is the arduino uno iot development board and these are all the components and connections made on this board so this is the complete demonstration of this kit from my side if you have any query you can visit at tesla global website for other information related to this kit you can refer to the manual information related to other products you can refer to the links given in the description so thank you for watching this video if you like this video just like share and subscribe to our channel